Okay, so now in today's episode of the vlog, we're gonna do something a little different only because I have been getting on YouTube lately and I cannot stop seeing it. some kind of video about how everybody is going broke. And look, I get it between inflation and a high cost of living. Look, I've been there, but you will never catch me making a video about going broke. Look, I did my nickel, I ain't going back. But that's only because of these two rules that I made for myself a long time ago. And now look, I have experienced being broke like most of my life. And y'all think I'm joking? I'm not. I mean, I am from the South Side of Chicago. My family struggled a lot. And then when I moved to Atlanta, and when I was in high school, I remember I needed to go to my friend's houses just to shower because we didn't have hot water. And now I get where a lot of these people are coming from, but what I didn't see in a lot of these videos, I saw a bunch complaining, but I didn't see any or hear any solutions on how to solve these problems. So about six or seven years ago, I was living in LA, you know, doing my thing, working in television, work for CBS, in on air promo and I went out for drinks in Beverly Hills when I met this guy. And I'ma keep it real, I do not know this guy. I was, I only met him because I was sitting at the bar and waiting for a friend and I'm super extroverted. So, I mean, I be talking to everybody. So we're sitting there talking, I tell him about what I do. He tells me how he's an accountant working in Beverly Hills. And then he tells me how he just got the job maybe two months ago and how this job changed his life. So look, I am super curious, right? So I asked him like, what? I, I wanna know, how did this job change your life? Because he was so, he was so fascinated by what he had just learned. So he then tells me that how like 90% of his clients that he sees in Beverly Hills, 90% of people he manages money for are in reality broke. And he told me how he was completely thrown by this because these 90% of people always came in looking like they had money. And now don't get it twisted, they did make a lot of money, but he's again, he said 90% of them on paper were broke, even though they come in looking like they're rich. Meanwhile, the other 10% of people who did not look like they had a lot of money, were extremely, and I mean like extremely wealthy. But the crazy part about it was they looked like they didn't have money. And so now when he told me this, I dug in a bit because I was a bit confused. So I asked, okay, how do you look broke on paper even though you, you have a lot and you make a lot? And then he says, what he means by this is that these people have no assets. They have a bunch of stuff but ain't got no assets. So he goes on to just tell me about all the stuff that he learned and how it really opened his eyes and made him start making a change. And this was only two months after working as an accountant for all these clients. He realized that most people have a spending problem. And man, when he told me this, I instantly just thought about like how, like I legit just bought, I believe some Type R headlights to modify the front end of my NSX. I like bought these headlights and I was thinking about all the things that I bought and why I couldn't afford, I had a spending problem. Like, <laughs> like I was one of those people. And man, after talking with this dude, I had, I reflected back on my, like it was like, it was again, it was legit like he was talking to me. I did some self reflecting and I figured it out. I figured out how to basically never ever go broke because I realized that even if you have a spending problem, when you tell people to spend less or when you tell people to do certain things, it does not work. So what I did, and I swear it works till this day, I still do it till this day. What I did was made one simple, no, two simple rules for myself. Cause look, I've tried a lot of this stuff. Like I'm telling you, I was digging in deep after talking with this guy on how I could be better about money because I would really, I really wanted to just be, I wanted to take it to the next level. I was making a decent amount of money, but at the same time, I did feel like I, I felt like I didn't have enough money. So look, for free 99, I'm gonna tell you what these two rules are that completely changed my life. I never heard anybody say this or do something this, it sounds crazy. So I'm gonna let you give you a heads up right now. It does sound crazy, but look, if you out here making content and all these sob stories, look, I promise this will help. I, I swear. Okay. So much. Hey. <laughs> okay, so now we just went to Starbucks. We cop a caramel frappuccino, right? The first rule that I have that changed my life was that I always say if I cannot afford five of them, I should not buy one of them. But I wish someone had told me that sooner. If I can't afford five of them, 
I should not buy one of them. For example, I just went to Starbucks, I copped this caramel frappuccino, it was five something, but I usually round it up to six. So if it's five something, just go ahead and round it up to six, meaning five times six, 30. If I ain't got $30 in cash on me, or at least in my checking, there's no reason for me to be, I should not have this. No point. And this rule is important because what I realized is that this rule started making me think about the way I spend money a bit differently. Because I like to spend money, right? We all like to spend money. We all like to buy stuff. But what this did was make me budget myself a bit more. Perfect example was when I would buy like car parts for my NSX. Those car parts were extremely expensive. So if I looked at these Type R headlights that I just bought for three grand, would I have bought them if I would have said to myself, do you have 15 grand in your checking account just lying around waiting to be spent? Like, do you got it like that? <laughs> and see, what that's what I'm saying. You realize quick that you should not be buying this stuff. Like, at the end of the day, I didn't need to buy a lot of things that I bought for these cars, for these motorcycles. That's the main thing I was spending money on was that kind of stuff. Something that this rule also helped me with was it made me, it made me think a little bit more about money in general. Like, where is my money going? And again, this is something that I just made up for myself. If I cannot afford five of them, I cannot afford one of them. And now doing this one rule alone does help, but I felt like it did not help enough because it went back, I could not stop thinking about what this guy had told me about how 90% of people are broke and they have a spending problem. But what I realized quick with only using this one rule, it wasn't getting me the results that I wanted to do. So I then made up this second rule because again, 90% of people, don't have any assets. Now, at the time, I had some assets, but I was still that 90%, and I like to spend money. You gotta remember that. Spending money's almost, it, it, I don't really know. Now look, I ain't financial advisor, I ain't no, I'm not a psychiatrist, but it does feel, there's some kind of emotional, there's something emotional about spending money. And I personally think that's why a lot of people overspend. So, instead of just trying to stop spending or spend less, what I did was I had to trick myself somehow. I made a second rule for myself, which is today I spent six euros on a frappuccino, right? Small frappuccino, six euros. What I then do, and no joke, the f as soon as I have time, because again, I like to spend money, but I had to trick myself. And the way I trick myself is that if I spend six dollars on this euro, six euros on this cappuccino, what I then have to do is double that six dollars, which is 12, and I have to invest it immediately. Like I have to do it the exact same day. So every day I spend money, I double that money I spent and I put it into in, in some, into some kind of assets, whether it's uh, whether it's stocks, whether it's my Roth IRA, 401k, savings, something. You have to get rid of the money. You got to get rid of it because we have spending problems. Don't forget, like that's important to remember. Look, it's not a money problem. It is a spending problem. So I just do myself a favor. I admire, I mean, I acknowledge that I do have a spending problem. But what I will do is if I spend six euros on this today, I have to invest 12 euros today. I have to. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And this makes me feel good because I'm spending the money, but I'm spending the money in the right way. And I'm doing this also helps me reevaluate what what are assets like. What is what it is an actual asset? Because I I mean for a long time I thought I knew what assets were, but I ain't really know. I'm look, I'm just I'm just super saying. I'm gonna keep it real. I thought assets were just stuff. Like when I looked around of the things that I owned, I would say 99% of the things I owned were not assets. They were not making me any money matter of fact they were just liabilities and, and i mean like liabilities in the sense of you just have a bunch of stuff and it just kind of weighs you down you can't you you can't move a certain way when you just have a bunch of stuff and look i've never talked about this on a video before and it actually sounds crazy when i think about it but legit this works i have not like i'm telling you ever since i started doing this something has changed and i don't know what this does but you will never go broke. Like you will never not have any money. Even if you have emergencies, it's all there because all I've been doing was just doubling. Okay, if I spent this today, that means I gotta double it and I have to invest this money somewhere else tomorrow. And I'm telling you, you will think, you will think twice when you're going somewhere and you see something that you want that you know you shouldn't buy. You, you see it differently for some reason. I don't know why. You're just tricking yourself. I don't know why, but I'm just telling you, this is what works for me. 
It has changed my life doing things like this. No joke. So look, for all you creators that are out there struggling making these sob videos, I'm telling you, make rules for yourself because it is a game changer. Look, take my rule. You can have it for free 99. I promise it will change your life. It is, man, I am telling you. Perfect example, right? When the vid hit, for example, right? And my friend had got laid off. My best friend, I talked about this. He got laid off from CBS, my mentor got laid off from CBS and I told my wife, I think we were, this, this is around the time too, we were considering moving here to the Netherlands. I told her, I think we should just go ahead and do it. Then I told her how much money we had and I didn't even sell my NSX yet. My NSX went up in value. Luckily, like I had, look, sold that for a big bag, but that's besides the point. By that time I had been doing it for just three or maybe three years, maybe, maybe four, you know, I've been doing it for four years by that time now, only four years. And I had way, my, my wife was so shocked at how much money I had just chilling in the bank, chilling in stocks, chilling in my Roth IRA, chilling in my 401k, just ch chilling and say, like, I'm telling you, she had no idea, even though I told her a long time ago, but she didn't have, she was so shocked that I had this amount of money lying around. Like, I will tell you right now, if you commit to it and you're disciplined about it, you could you could guarantee save, I would say at least five grand in like four months. Just remember the rule, whatever you spend, like I do this with everything. Everything I spend on a day-to-day -day basis, I double and I invest it and you will get that money up quick. I'm just super saying. As a creator, I'm telling you, there is no reason to be broke out here. I was literally just talking to another creator friend about this exact same thing about a week ago. There is just way too much money out here to be going broke. So look, definitely figure this out because the time is now. Like you need to, look, it's only gonna get worse. The economy, all that, look, you could be completely justified by the economy and all this other stuff. You could be completely right but it don't matter, ain't nobody coming. I'm telling you, I learned from a very young age, and I've talked about this in vlogs before, I learned at a very young age, when you grow up poor, you learn. Don't nobody care. I'm just being, nobody cares about you. You need to get it up yourself. And right now is the best time because all you need is a cell phone, and you could be making millions. Like I know a guy that just goes out, makes literally makes videos about the economy every day, racking in 50,000 views. This. And, I'm tell and it works, like this man, I mean, he'll never say this, but he's clearly a millionaire, like clearly. Don't focus on all these other issues that don't matter. I'm telling you, at the end of the day, they do not matter. Focus on getting that money up because it's probably gonna get worse. That's all I got, that's all I gotta say. Okay, you know what, let's visit the comment section. Ooh, ooh. We are crooked and that sun is hot. <laughs> Okay, first comment is from Wheels Wheels, and this is on the Hobbies video. And he says, can you please have a vlog or do the vlog at the racetrack? Pittman, yes. When I go to the racetrack, I will definitely do, I will definitely vlog it because I'm actually thinking about going for the Formula One race there. I mean, again, the track is maybe, if I biked, to maybe a 25 minute bike ride from my house, maybe 20, give or take. But yeah, definitely close. I need to vlog that. And the next comment is from Nixon Reptiles. And this is actually a really, really good comment that it made me start thinking. So Nixon, first of all, thank you for this comment. I even thanked you in the comment. But and he says, in my opinion, you don't need a story for every show. You're in a cool spot that viewers likely aren't in and you don't need to show everything being a B-roll montage. And you know what? I've been thinking about this actually quite a long time now. And that's why I've been kind of shortening the B-roll a bit. Like I want it, I don't know how to explain it, but I do want to up the sauce by taking away some of this stuff, if that makes sense. So, Nixon, look, Nixon Reptiles, thank you so much. Seriously, great comment, because I I have been thinking about it. Oh, you know what, actually there is one more comment I want to read, and this, this will be the last one, because I did want to address this. But Kiwi Adventure says, yo Sky, please leave the text up longer, that way you can have time to read it. Now, that is my bad, I apologize. Uh, he's talking about, in some of my videos, I will just leave the text up, like, it's like maybe two frames. That is my fault. I. I don't know what I'd be thinking. Sometimes I do it just to do it quick and I don't double check it before the upload. All right, now I think that's about all the time we have for the comment section, but thanks for commenting guys. Like keep bringing the comments. I love reading them. I'm thinking about maybe doing comment, maybe doing comment Wednesday or so. I don't know, look, look, we, will, we will figure this out. <laughs>
All right, and I think we're gonna end today's episode here. Now, I know I don't, I don't usually make financial videos and I'm not, again, I'm not a financial YouTuber or guru, nothing like that. So I just wanted to tell you guys how I never go, look, I've been broke. And it's another reason why I ain't never going broke because I've been broke before and I ain't never going broke again. Like pimping, I refuse, I, look, I refuse to go broke. And I'm also keep it real, I ain't worried about anyone outworking me, nothing. I, I do, look, I just know I am never ever going broke again. I know that, I've been at the bottom. It is not fun. <laughs> Plus, me being where I am today, there's so many people that will trade my life with theirs in a heartbeat. So I need to take advantage of it. I don't, I am blessed where I am, but also, I will outwork anybody. I will do what I need to do to never go broke again. But yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk about that because man, these these sob videos, man, I'm just like, what is, what is going on? Oh, also in the comments below, let me know if you have some financial rules or guidelines that you go by for yourself. I would love to know because I know everybody is different and people need something that works for them. This is just what works for me. And it sounds crazy, but it works. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it again. Look, I'm not trying to be a hater. I ain't calling people out. I'm not even saying people's struggles are not valid. All I'm saying is for creators out here making these videos, let's get it. Like this is our time. There's no reason for us to be broke. But yeah, that is it. I need to go in and head to work now. I got up early just to make this video because I was just like, I, man, I'm telling you, I saw these videos and yeah, but anyway, you know what? That's a whole nother story. Anyway. I gotta run, I gotta head to work. I will catch you guys in the next one. Also, my new motto, it ain't over until we win. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.